All right. Hello, I'm here. I'm Rachel, and I'm here to talk to you today about gun control in the U.S. Gun control is a hot button issue amongst amongst U.S. Americans right now, especially in the wake of all the Sandy Hook, Virginia Techs, and the recent Charleston mass shootings, with some Americans saying that we need to um, extremely strengthen our gun control while other Americans are maintaining that it is their right to own uh, firearms and however many and to um, purchase them f freely. Today I'm here to discuss a solution for gun violence though. I am going to be going over some statistics mentioned by NBC News, also um, some proposed solutions, and then discuss with you the public health approach to reducing gun violence. So first of all, um, NBC News affiliate or writer Kevorik Janzian in 2013 listed some U.S. gun statistics that require our attention. In the U.S., 86 people die per day from gunshots. 30 of them are murders, 53 of them are suicides, and two of them are accidental. That means that one person in the U.S. is killed every 17 minutes every day. Three times more kids were injured in 2010s by guns than U.S. soldiers in Afghanistan during the war that same year. Mass shootings, according to John Metzl of the American Journal of Public Health, are a rare act of violence. And, be, and between 2001 and 2010, less than 5% of killings were actually linked to somebody with mental illness. So with those statistics, what is our solution? Some suggested solution by both gun owners and non-gun non owners were polled by Colleen Berry in 2013 and published in the New England Journal of Public Health. Both gun owners and non-gun owners agreed that increased background checks are necessary. Um, those convicted of violent crimes should not be allowed to own a firearm. There should be no sales to those with diagnosed known mental illnesses. And there should be punishment for the violators of these rules and also those to sell to violators. And that punishment should be a mandatory imprisonment. The preventative action that can be taken is gun safety education. This needs to be known by both gun owners and non-gun owners so that everybody who is ever possibly in the presence of a firearm knows how to properly behave around them. So with these solutions, I believe that the public health approach in implementing them is our solution to reducing gun violence. Hemingway and Miller in the New England Journal of Public Health in 2013 made this suggestion. The public health approach to any epidemic or medically or any other um, issue is to address the community as a whole rather than just the issue. So they suggest five steps. First, again, we address the po whole population, not just a specific few who have committed mass shootings and um, murders and such like that. Also is prevention. We need to change the environment rather than the individual. So this is where the gun safety education comes into mind, um, proper uh, restricting the laws that restrict those with violent crimes um, from owning weapons and the, mental, the mentally ill. We also need to develop a system that makes it difficult to make mistakes so that um, it is hard for anyone to obtain a weapon that shouldn't be owning them. And also, if we're properly educated, we know how to prevent the accidents and that. <laughs> um, also, this system needs to be broad and inclusive. It needs to have the interventions and as well as we need to change the social norms in regards to gun ownership. And these need to be in conjunction with the stricter gun laws. Most importantly in these five steps is the shared responsibility by the whole nation. We need to not finger point, but accept that this is a problem for all of us, and then that will be our first step in order to 
uh, produce a produ productive solution for gun violence. A Mayo psychologist, Dr. Boswick, supports this public health approach also by saying that larger prevention will result in a broader impact on solutions. So in conclusion, a solution for reducing gun violence is possible. We need to take in the statistics, hear all the possible solutions, and apply them in a public health approach that will um, that will be broad and include everybody. My call to action for you is to become familiar with gun safety and to educate others. Thank you.